Yo, welcome back. This is Stu42 with another Minecraft video. We're going to continue on the nuclear path a little bit, uh, mainly just using the bits that we've gotten from the nuclear. So one of the things I've done is I've duplicated the setup. So we now have, well, it'll do 360 EU per tick now. Um, I've also run a few cycles through it. In fact, that's just about the last of all of my uranium. Uh, the uranium gets converted to plutonium. I've got some tiny piles left there. Uh, but what we're using that plutonium for is, if we hit you on that, exactly these two things. So MOX nuclear fuel and pellets of RTG. Now, I've made one set of pellets and I've made one MOX nuclear fuel. And let's just run up and see, because up here, we've stopped um, going. So, ta-da, one industrial craft of really more now this is pretty important because i'm not sure of any other real way of getting this i, I think you can probably mine it to be honest um very very rare though i've certainly not seen one there is iridium ore around but it makes the other iridium ore not the industrial craft one it does the let's have a look it makes this one here the advanced solar panels version uh, so whenever you do your purified crushed crushed iridium all of this sort of stuff all ends up with this sort of ingot not with this industrial craft ore. So that's the only way I've found to do the ore. Now the reason we need it is because it makes iridium reinforced plates. In fact, wow, look at that. You can actually compress it <laughs> into one of those ingots. Not that you want to, uh, but you want these iridium reinforced plates because they are used in, well, not that craziness, but cinerium alloy. And cinerium alloy, yeah, gravitation sweet stuff as well. But scenarium alloy is primarily, thing. look, you need eight of them. And each one of these takes four. So you're looking at, you know, 32 iridium just to make one scenarium, which makes, yep, enriched scenarium, which in turn we need for this quantum core. So it's all about getting this quantum core, which we're going to use for a few different things. If we hit you on that, you can see the ME control, a very important piece, and the energy acceptor. So either one of those to get started with uh, applied energy sticks. We're going to need at least 32 of these. So how do we do that? Well, we started the other day with our recycler. We now have, well, 72 millibuckets of um, UU matter, not too bad. But we also made this scanner. Now, I have actually put a piece of crystal memory in here. I'm also going to put that in, and now that's now running. 1%. Oh, it's actually going to be quite fast to do that. So this crystal memory isn't too difficult to make, actually. It's... Uh, where is it? There, crystal memory there. So you just have to cook up a raw crystal memory, which is a bit of obsidian powder, pretty easy. Silicon dioxide dust just some clay dust through a centrifuge, not too difficult to make. So I've already made one of those uh, and this should hopefully scan some iridium ore. So I will run away again and I'll be back once this is scanned and then we'll talk about, well, what the next step is from there. See you in a bit. Okay, we have finished scanning and the results look like this. So it tells us what we're gonna need. So 120 millibuckets of UU matter to make one. So again, it's gonna be pretty expensive to make, but and, you know, it's a lot better than going to try and find uh, a bunch of iridium ore out in the world. Uh, now we can choose to delete it or save it. So let's choose to save. And now we have that and it's got the iridium ore with our 120 millimeters. Now we've lost the iridium ore in the process, but that's okay. So now we can make more. How do we make more? Now, this is where we have our fun machine, the replicator. So the replicator is a pretty nasty thing to make. We're going to need a bunch of teleporters, uh, more diamonds, advanced machine casings. Not actually too difficult to make. Oh, reinforced stone could be a bit of a pain. Uh, HP transformers. Yeah, I mean, all things that we have items for that we can do. I'm, of course, going to run away and do most of this off camera. The reinforced stone, however, I have a feeling that we can only make that by using the uh, CF sprayer. So if we go for CF, so we're gonna need the CF sprayer, which is uh, like concrete basically. So CF powder, there's a CF backpack. Uh, the powder is made with stone dust, sand and clay, and you put it into um, a canning machine. So that one there. So the same canning machine actually that we've used over here we can use uh, we just change the mode so from canning it's a uh, drink from cell tank uh, fill cell from tank that there fluid enrich see it's got that little bit there that looks like half of a um, 
half of a CF powder icon uh, there. So that's what we're going to need. So it's going to take me again a little while to, to fix all this up. It's going to, I'm going to have to do a bit of mining. I don't have anywhere near enough diamonds uh, for this endeavor. Uh, so once I've gone, found some diamonds, I'll try and make some of the bits as well uh, off camera. And then, well, on camera, I, yeah, I'm going to have to decide how to power this thing because if you noticed before, 2048 EU per tick maximum though so I'm guessing that we can feed a lot less into it uh, it'll just run really really slowly so what I'm planning on doing is having a gap here putting it over here maybe giving it its own MFE or MFSU maybe even an MFSU uh, to power it if I can find the diamonds uh, but like I said I'm gonna need to do a ton of mining and finding of diamonds first so it'll probably be a little while for me and hopefully not that long for you before I come back with some bits so once again see you in a minute well, I have done some of the stuff that I need to do. Uh, we're still a bit short on diamonds, but as you can see, I have made most of the stuff. We've even got our three teleporters. I've got our MFE, two HV transformers, reinforced glass, which means the only thing that I am missing is the reinforced stone. Now, on that, I have myself a CF sprayer. I have myself a CF backpack. I actually put the backpack on. Now I've done that with these two things. I have done a video on this before. It is a few seasons ago, but it really hasn't changed since then. So um, we've got this here, which is just a fluid canning machine set to this little mode here. See half the picture is of the uh, CF powder. I've got some CF powder there. Water's piped in. It does this construction foam out the other side. Pipe that through to another fluid canning machine, which is set to fill cell from tank. And that's what I use to fill my CF backpack, which as you can see has got 80 buckets worth in, and the sprayer, which holds another eight buckets by itself. So the only thing left to do is, I might go and do it down here. Now you need these iron scaffolds. So we go scaffold, 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 and then we go spray, whoa. Okay, right clicking is not what we want. Ha, huh, and that's already set into that. Now I've been told you need sand for this. So yeah, look at that. Ha, huh. so you can use sand to dry it out straight away. That's pretty cool, didn't realize that. So, <laughs> left click must be the thing that... <laughs> yeah, okay, let's try left click. No, left click doesn't do anything. Shift right click? No, wow, that's just done like all of it. So I'm not sure how to, eh, maybe it just does that. So now we go along with our sand. Now, breaking one of those, as you can see, disappears just fine. But when you break one of these, which as you can see with that progress meter, 30%, 40%, 50%, 60%, wow, this takes a long time. But this will break to the actual reinforced stone, which is what we want. So how much did I use then? Oh yeah, 7,700, wow. So this CF sprayer is just gonna last forever. Like, have so much that now I'm not going to break all of these on camera I'll just break the two that we need I'll come back down and break the rest off camera I'm not even sure when we're going to need these again um, maybe I'll put some scaffolding around the nuclear reactor I don't know I haven't really got a dangerous reactor reactor design um, our reactor in here is just a pretty bog standard um, sort of reactor now reinforced glass reinforced stone teleporter MFE, HP Transformer, HP Transformer, and we now have one of the most expensive blocks I think I have ever made. Apart from maybe my ink mixer, the ink mixer was absolutely brutal to make. Now, what am I looking for? I am looking for a servo, and I am looking for my piping. So I'm gonna need some duct, just one. Fluid duct, yes, just one of those. And then, okay, so over here is where I'm going to put this. So we're going to have it right there. Oof, expensive machine. Now we're going to put that in here. I'm going to have the servo, set it to ignored. There should be a brief flash almost. There we go, 72 UU matter. Uh, what do we need? We need our pattern, crystal memory. 
throw that in. Actually, my shift, shift click, replicator. Next pattern. Hmm. We can't put that in there. You know what we need? We need a thing called pattern storage. Dimensional RF tools. Pattern framed. Pattern storage. This thing. Ah, oh, holy moly, there's some more reinforced stone we need, and advanced things, some more empty crystal memory. Okay, I need to put one of those pattern storage things on the back of this, and that will then allow us to select the patterns that we've got stored in there. Because I can't... Yeah, that's not going to let me put it anywhere. All right, so once again, I'm going to run away. Uh, I don't have anywhere near enough UU matter to make this. Well, over halfway, I guess. Uh, so we need 100 and... 20, 120 millibuckets to make an iridium ore. Uh, so I'm going to run away once again. I will make ourselves a pattern storage and then we'll try and get some power for this. I really want to make an MFSU, but I am just so short on diamonds. So I might do some more mining for diamonds as well uh, between now and, well, again, just a couple of seconds for you. Uh, quite a while for me. So <laughs> see you once again in a little moment. Alrighty, so it turns out that you can put the pattern storage on the back, you can put the crystal memory in there, and then you click this little down arrow saying import from crystal, and ta-da, we've got one of one in there. And I'm not sure I can reuse that crystal now or not, not sure. Next pattern, there we go, iridium ore, and now we can go single run, stop, or we can just repeat run. Of course, we're going to need a ton more UU matter in order to get this done, so... I'm going to have to sort out some power. I also need some power for this, and that's going to be probably an MFSU at this point, because that outputs what we need. Unfortunately, MFE. So there's 16 diamonds right there, plus another, whatever that is, 24 diamonds. So yeah, 40 diamonds just to make one MFSU. Pretty brutal on materials. And my amount of diamonds that I have is seven <laughs> a little bit less than 40 all right so i'm gonna have to go away find some more diamonds we'll come back and then we can close out this episode hopefully with me making the first piece of iridium ore via this method and then as we uh discussed before we need like a ton of it um so it's for the quantum the quantum core which needs four of these which needs four of these and each one of these needs eight of those so it's 32 iridium ores so 32 iridium ores is going to take a long time to do but at least we can finally be on our path to actually getting some applied energistics because to be honest early games being great for this sort of stuff uh but it's really starting to get annoying we get stuff like this there's you know silicon there two silicon in that spot there's another silicon there there's more silicon there there's more silicon there as you can see it's put silicon in like four different spots now I should be able to take that out, take that out, and put it in there. This one's full, 512, so I can understand it overflowing once, but yeah, that's, it's just getting annoying. Applied Energistics should help fix all of this up. Um, yeah, at least, at least we'll be able to test Applied Energistics with these drawers as well. Maybe it's a fault with the drawers, maybe it's a fault with the logistics pipes. I actually have a feeling it's the storage drawers that are at fault in this one. Anyway, I'll be back in a moment once I've found a ton more diamonds, and then we can get on with making our very first iridium ore via replicator cool see you in just a little bit so i've been away and got a few more diamonds i do actually have just enough i think to make the mfsu but i've decided instead to just have an mfe here and see what happens so i've clicked single run play uh, it's now sucking up the u matter which we should have enough so we're at 50 percent so this will get to 100% UU matter, and then I presume it'll start using the EU as well. Now, we are fully powered, so our lightning bolt's there. Um, this is fully powered as well. Oh, actually, no, we're using power. So that is, that is using power right now. So the EU, wow. So it's actually using EU right now, but it is obviously going to require a ton of EU. I'm not even sure how much it actually needs. So now we're waiting. What for? Can I take it out? Oh. Huh. Okay, so that's a bit interesting. So that used power the whole time. Actually, there it says 120 millibuckets of um, UU matter, but EU, zero EU. I wonder if it takes no power to make. That's a very interesting thing. So in other words, you sort of need power to power it in order to start it, but once it's run, it's 
it's run and we have an Iridium ore. That's fantastic. Okay, so now it turns out that we've only got eight millibuckets left of that. We're gonna to need to run our mass fabricator. I've got a bit of scrap in there at the moment, which is pretty good. Um, but yeah, this is gonna take me a long time to make another one. Now, in the meantime, after we're doing all that, uh, there may actually be another way of getting Iridium ore. So stay tuned, next episode, I will probably quickly go through in the next episode another way of getting Iridium ore from the Infinity Evolved pack. Uh, we'll see if it works out. It should be good though. Anyway, that is all from me for this time. That's another fairly successful episode, I would say. We've uh, got a source of Iridium ore. It may take us some time and we may need a bit more power, but it'll work. It'll work. We'll be able to get there. We'll be able to get our already more. 32 of them required for uh, for applied energistics just to get started. Anyway, that's all from me. Uh, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.